Hi, welcome to another video. So, DeepSeek has launched their new R1 model, which is very awesome. It answers all my questions and is just so good that I can't exaggerate enough. But that model is 671B, which is quite big, and you won't be able to run it locally. DeepSeek also thought of this because they have also launched six distilled models as well. These distilled models are fine-tuned versions of general open-source models like Llama and Quen. These models have been fine-tuned with synthetic data generated with the DeepSeq R1 model with about 800k samples, which makes these models perform insanely well with long chains of thought and reasoning. Especially, the Quen 2.532B fine-tuned model beats O1 Mini in benchmarks, which is pretty great. This might be the best bet to run locally, as most computers with about 16 gigs or 32 gigs of RAM can run it locally these days. You might be tempted to try out the Llama 3.370B model, but actually, it doesn't perform as well as the Quen 2.532B model, at least in benchmarks. This might be because Llama 3.3 is already a fine tune of Llama 3.1, which makes the fine tune a little less effective. The Quen 14B and 7B also show promising results as well, and are even better to run locally if you're a little short on memory. The 7B beats QWQ on benchmarks, which is actually quite insane as well. I won't recommend using Llama models, but you can if you want. I'll be testing the Quen models right now. All the distilled models are available on Olama. You can just pull the model you want to use and use it. Simply, you can just download Olama, then open the DeepSeq R1 model page, choose the model you want to use, copy the command, and just put it in your terminal, and it will get the model loaded. Just send a message to make sure that it works correctly. So, now let's test it with these 13 questions. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform that gives you access to more than 10 models like Claude 3.5 Sonnet, GPT-4.0, Gemini, and even image generation models like Flux and video generation models like Kling, and much more, all in one place for a price that's even cheaper than one chat GPT membership, starting at only $11. Not just that, they have a bunch of AI tools that can help you use these models in intricate ways. They have also recently added an artifacts feature to their platform that now allows you to generate code, preview it, and share it with others using preview links, which is great. It can even run Python code and create charts. You can check them out through the link in the description and make sure to use my coupon code KING25 to get an additional 25% off these already great deals. Now let's come back to the video. The first question is, tell me the name of a country whose name ends with Leah. Give me the capital city of that country as well. The answer should be something like Australia and Canberra. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer from all three of them, and 32B answers this correctly, while 14B and 8B don't, because Quen's small model isn't actually trained with country names. So, it fails there due to that. So, let's mark this. Now, the next question is, what is the number that rhymes with the word we use to describe a tall plant? The answer should be three. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer. And 32B and 14B are correct, while 7B is not. So, let's mark it as well. The next question is, write a haiku where the second letter of each word, when put together, spells simple. Let's send it and see. Okay, so the 32B model gave me an answer that spells simple with the first words. 
It did that because the second letter generation wasn't making sense. But this one does. So, I'll give it a pass, while the other two are not good. So, those are fails. Let's mark it as well. The next one is, name an English adjective of Latin origin that begins and ends with the same letter, has 11 letters in total, and for which all vowels in the word are ordered alphabetically. The answer could be something like transparent. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and none of them are correct. So, this is a fail. The next question is, Courtney said that there were 48 people, but Kelly said that Courtney had overstated the number by 20%. If Kelly was right, how many people were there? The answer should be 40. Let's send it and check. This is the answer, and all of them are correct. Let's mark it as a pass. The next one is, I have two apples, then I buy two more. I bake a pie with two of the apples. After eating half of the pie, how many apples do I have left? The answer should be two. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and all of them are also correct. So, let's give this a pass. Now the next question is, Sally is a girl. She has three brothers. Each of her brothers has the same two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? The answer should be one. Let's send it and see. Now here's the answer, and all of them are also correct. So, let's mark it as well. The next one is, if a regular hexagon has a short diagonal of 64, what is its long diagonal? The answer should be 73.9. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer from all of them, and 32b and 14b are fully correct, while the 7b model gave me an equation that also equates to the correct number. So this is also a pass for all of them. Let's mark it as well. Now, the next question is, create an HTML page with a button that explodes confetti when you click it. You can use CSS and JS as well. Let's send it and check. Here's the code, and 32B and 14B work well, while 7B doesn't work. So, let's mark it. The next question is, create a playable synth keyboard using HTML, CSS, and JS. Let's send it and check. Okay, here's the answer, and if we run this, then none of them works. So, this is a fail for all of them. The next one is, generate the SVG code for a butterfly. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer. And if we preview this, then the 32B looks good, while 14B also looks good, and 7B doesn't. Let's mark it as well. The next one is, create me a 3D circle that moves and loops endlessly in 3D space using HTML, CSS, and JS. Let's send it and check. Okay, here's the answer. And if we run this, then 32B works well, while 14B doesn't, and 7B also works well. So, let's mark it. Now the final question is, write a game of life in Python that works on the terminal. Let's send it and see. Okay, so here's the code, and none of them work correctly. So, let's mark it. Now this is the final chart. So, the 32B model is pretty good. I mean, the smaller reasoning models get a little finicky in coding due to formatting issues and everything. But still, for the general tasks, it's pretty good. It is quite similar to O1 Mini for sure. It also cannot solve the haiku and the word question. So, this is great. You can pretty much run a smaller model that performs like O1 Mini locally which is pretty insane to think about. The Llama 3.370B model is also good and performs a tad bit better than Quen 2.5. So, if you have the resources to run that, then you can try it out as well, and it should perform well, especially in tasks where the knowledge gets limited for Quen. Overall, the distilled models are pretty cool. Anyway, 
Share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.